Hi loves, Coach Kara here. So today I really want to talk about um, a particular concern that has been going on in the relationship area for, I would say, the past five years. And that concern is, why are men struggling in relationships? All right. So if you're new to my channel, I thank you for joining me. So listen, as an observer, because I am a relationship coach, something I've been doing for quite some time now, um, as a daughter, a sibling, someone who was in a relationship with a guy for 15 plus years, whose best friends are mainly guys. I also coach men, you know, with dating coaching and, and learning how to, to, to just simply be a partner in a relationship. So here's what I've begun to assess for the past few years. And, and this is just my own personal analysis. Why do I think men are struggling more so now than ever in relationships? It's because most of men do not know who they are. And it is quite a struggle when you don't know who you are because it makes it a bit challenging to even like yourself. And when you have issues with having a personal relationship with thine self, it is going to make it challenging to accept someone else liking you and wanting to have a relationship with you. So that's primarily what we're going to talk about. I'm going to touch on a couple other things as well to further assist you with, you know, being more in touch with who you are. So here's, here's how it all begins, right? You know, we as humans, we are our own individual self. And I think most of us, if, if, and it's not necessarily about having a guidance or some sort of role model because someone can only tell you how to navigate life. But what they cannot do is to help you build who you are. That is your responsibility to build your own character, to navigate your own path as far as self-identity goes and i think when it comes to self-identity we have a crisis so what typically happens with with boys is as they're growing they tend to take characteristics from a particular source it could be hey i want to be like captain marvel or you know spider-man or whomever or i want to be like this character I want to be a boxer like this guy. I want to have certain traits like my father and be like my uncle. It's like you just kind of like take from different personas from others and you kind of morph a whole persona and character for yourself. What that basically means is as years goes on, you become an adolescent and into adult. You've sort of created your own characteristic of who a man is. And I think that's what's happening to a lot of people. And, and why is that? The reason why that is happening is because at a certain point in your life, and it, it doesn't necessarily matter at a particular age or, you know, an age group, at a certain point, we have to get to ourselves to learn who we are as an individual, have a one-on-one -on -one interpersonal relationship with ourselves, And by doing that, that means disassociating ourselves with other people and, you know, other interferences that will hinder us from learning who we are as a person. Now, if you are an only child, and this may not apply to you as much because if one thing an only child knows how to do is get to themselves, learn who they are, and, and become that person. They know what they want, they know what they don't need, and they know how they have a better sense of how to navigate life and have you know emotional availability and interpersonal relationships. Most people do when they grow up by themselves. So the point that I'm trying to make is at some point you have to be alone 
for a certain length of time. My love, it is imperative, especially with men, to be by themselves for a long period of time. This is the only way that you're going to know how to discover who you are as a person and know what it is you want for yourself in this lifetime. The most greatest men who have ever lived and still do have done this. Jesus, Moses, John the Baptist. I mean, so many greats have had to get to themselves for a, a long period of time. I would say three to six months with no interaction, with no interferences, you know, work, go to school, whatever, get to yourself, learn who you are as, a, as an individual. See, if you don't learn who you are as an individual, you sure cannot expect to go into any sort of connection expecting someone else to. Because what typically happens is you find yourself getting into these uh, situationships. They can actually be relationships. You find yourself getting in these connections and you don't know how to be. Especially if that person is saying, oh, you're so great, you're so this, and they're giving you this, you're not receiving it, you're not accepting it. And why is that? Because you don't believe in yourself. Why don't you believe in yourself? Because you probably don't like yourself. You don't like yourself because you don't really know who you are. So it's challenging. Even when you decide to make a poor choice, of the person you want in your life. You probably tried that, many of you. Uh, metaphorically speaking, picking the apples from off the ground because they're accessible, they're easy to get. They want you to just come take, they're easy. It is, it's easy to get. And then you realize that, okay, this isn't gonna work either. You know, I thought this would just be an easy thing and it should be easy if this person is just willing to give themselves to you. However, always available, but even still, something's off. So you may have tried to reach a little higher on the tree, you know, with someone who's a little less attainable. So you have, many you have to put in some work to get this person. You've tried that. What happens? It doesn't feel right. And why it does not feel right is because you have a poor connection with your inner self. And this is why you may feel emotionally unavailable, detached, and, and that's where that, that negative behavior comes into play. You know, you want to ghost or, you know, for a couple of days, knowing that this person is really vibing with you. They're a good individual. They haven't done you any wrong. But for some reason, something within allows you to self-sabotage. And that is what you do. And then you come back into the picture. So you play like these games, these mind games, or you just vanish altogether. Have you been doing that? Okay, if that is so, and that, that individual hasn't really done anything to you, they're not giving you any major red flags or any sort of, you know, reasons to be apprehensive, then more so than likely it's you. And I'm certain you already know that. That is because you have not found a true connection within. That's really all that is. And the one thing that's necessary to do, as I just stated, is to get by yourself, spend time alone, and, and find out who you are as a person. And I know many times when people don't really know who they are, especially men, you know, some kids, you ask them at six years old, what do you want to be? I want to be a fireman. You ask that same, another person with the same age, they may not know. And they still may not know at the age of 25. You know, you find yourself taking a college course that you have no interest in. That, is, that means because we all have a passion within. And if you don't discover what, what drives you, what motivates you to get up, to, to want to put in extra hard work to achieve, that's passion. If you don't have that, then that means something is amiss. All right? So you'll probably have to get to yourself, you know, work on your shadow side, have a, 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 a deep, dark night of the soul or whatever they call it. Get to yourself and find out what your vices are and things that you need to work on so that you can build confidence and have real confidence and true self-esteem versus just faking it until you make it. And, you know, I saw a lot of this 
when I was, you know, like in my teens with guys, you know, they would have the rims and they would try to dress a certain way. They would try to be like, you know, emulate rappers and just try to be like someone else. And that was like the biggest turn off for me. So for the guy I would choose is someone who's a complete opposite, a loner, someone who's quiet. He had his own style, you know, he did his own thing, his own way, which means he was, he showed himself as an individual, not trying to emulate someone else. You know, it's like, <laughs> it just comes off as inauthentic. And I think if that's what you've been doing, well, then this is why you have been struggling with just having even a simple situationship can be challenging for you or because you don't really know who you are. You know, self-discovery is important, especially today because the people who are amongst us on this planet will eat you alive if you don't know who you are. And that will eat away at you. So here are a few steps that you can take outside of just isolation and getting to know yourself. One of the most important things that you also should do is have some sort of guidance, you know, religion, a belief system, something to help guide you on this, this journey we call life. Because what happens when you don't, you might lose your weight. You might start off on the right path, but somehow later on down the line, veer off in the wrong direction. So like reading the Bible or the Quran or, or finding some sort of spiritual entity, you know, meditating, something to help you believe, something that builds faith, something that helps build your character. Okay, and that will definitely help you in relationships. Because see, if you have respect of a higher being or higher power, it humbles you. It teaches you self-discipline, self-control. And then you just take all of that that you learn from that and you apply that to your relationships. And this way, when once you've truly found yourself you can now be self-assured and enter into real connections. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself in repeated, just failed situations, things you could have worked out, but you weren't strong enough to do so. Your mind wasn't there. It's not where it needs to be, which controls your actions. Okay? So hopefully this, hopefully this has been somewhat insightful for you. Listen, love, life is a journey. Life is a beast. If you do not know who you are, no one else will. And the one thing you don't want is someone to really fall into like with a false sense of what you're not. That's just, yeah, okay? It's not right on so many levels. All right, guys. But however, if you need further coaching, dating coaching, relationship coaching, just um, life coaching, all of my information will be linked down below. I thank you for joining me always. That is all for now. Until next time.